So I actually I actually deleted Haze up before originally from uh, from the project. The, the first version that I did, I deleted before, and everything got deleted out. So I think it was actually because of that Haze app 2.2.9 uh, or whichever number it was that was causing the issue. So let's give this a try again. So um, assets import package, custom package. Um, find the Haze app package again. Da, da, da. Unity, Haze up Unity package, 3.3.9, open. And some of them now will not be new, I think. Let's see. 3.3.9, okay. And I'm just making a mental note of the things that are coming in. Haze up, plugins NDK, Haze up, Haze up, okay. All right, so let's just give this a try now since we deleted the old one. Click import. Uh, and that's why I say that, you know, uh, be careful with your plugins. Sometimes what you might want to do, guys, is you might want to do a, um, a backup of your project. Uh, so what you do is you get your folder and then uh, actually copy that folder into a new one and then date it differently. Then open this new folder and then that's a fresh project. So if anything goes wrong with this, like, like you've just seen here, then you've got that want to fall back on and that's 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 a good practice especially if you're new with say plugins uh, because it's not your code it's somebody else's code so you're not really familiar of what what exactly is going on there or where the errors might be occurring so it's, it's good practice to do that and all right so we've got this new one we've only got the one haze app SDK in there now so let's click command and build or control and build sorry control and B or command and B and let's see how this goes. So this should just take a second to, to build. And in the meantime, I'll try to think of something to say whilst, uh, <laughs> whilst this thing is building. It shouldn't take too long though. My, I actually turned off my Mac uh, uh, last night and so things are running a little bit smoother. Uh, that might sound a little bit strange, but I, I, I leave my Mac on for days sometimes. Sometimes it's been on for a week or so. And so things really slow down. Uh, I think I need to be a little bit kinder to my Mac because I do ride it. I ride it hard sometimes. Uh, and I actually want to get a new one. Uh, so the plan is, guys, by the way, just while we're waiting for this to load, the plan is to do more of, uh, more of the tutorials like a lot of you have seen the, 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 the Pong game tutorials. Uh, and I got some really good feedback on that, you know, especially from beginner uh, players, beginner tutorials. Um, so it's definitely something that I'll be looking into again. So, okay, we're back. Um, so it looks like everything's worked well. We've actually got the build up and running now. So it looks like the only problem was that we had the two SDKs inside of this project folder now. So, you know, uh, if you ever run into that problem, guys, then definitely check it out. Uh, that, that could be a solution. Um, you know, I like I've often said, like I said before, a Google AdMobs SDK here. Uh, sometimes I've got, I've got the 4.1.1 in here. Sometimes I'll import the 6.0 SDK uh, and that'll cause the conflict or it could be like an in-app billing one uh, like this one IAB plugin that might be conflicting with another say payment system that you might that you might have integrated. So just FYI but whenever you're using plugins guys either copy the project or take a screenshot of that of that initial import settings box and then you know which ones you've imported so that you can delete, delete them out again. All right so um, right now, I think nothing should happen um, apart from this this check-in thing here. I've just checked. I've just tapped on this button here, this uh, this check-in button. So that's the same as what we had before. That check-in functionality should still work. Um, it's actually going to say, "Check out my super my score in Superbug," and then I've got zero. <laughs> so. Um, but the score is actually, I'm just, I'll show you this code shortly, but the score is just getting pulled in from, uh, from code. And all of this text here is just, is just already added in code and then the user just has to click check in. Okay. Uh, the check in is now complete, as you can see. And I'm just gonna return to the game. So that's fine. And what I'm gonna do just while I press that, while it reminds me that I'm gonna check that that check-in actually happened on the on the social Haze app network itself because we have a profile page and it shows you your latest check-ins and what's just happened. So I think it updates fairly quickly. Um, 
So you know, usually, usually you can see on your your profile page what you just recently checked in. I don't know if it happens that fast if it updates that quickly. Um, it looks like it's not loading right now, and it's probably due to my poor internet connection. But that's okay. I will I will come back to this shortly if if it doesn't work right now. Okay, no, I think we're good. Okay, yeah, there we go. So. Um, as you can see on the bottom there, hopefully you guys can see this one right here. It's saying, uh, hey, uh, hey, check out my score in Superbug Killer uh, Zero. <laughs> nice. Uh, and it shows the, uh, it also shows the, uh, uh, you know, it says when you've checked in and then people can comment. So uh, I'm actually using my, uh, my wife's uh, ID there to, to check games in. And I usually do that just because it tends to grab a little bit more uh, attention because she's she's prettier than I am. So you know, I think uh, I think use that, guys. You know, uh, <laughs> or girls. Who knows? You know, um, if you want to promote a game, use a pretty girl because guys look at pretty girls and girls look at pretty girls, in my opinion. Um, so I think uh, you know, always sort of use that or leverage it. And I'm just quickly connecting to my my uh, my proxy network here so that I can connect to overseas uh, internet so bear with me for just a second and this is just for testing and so that I can see the ads pop up as we're actually going through the development uh, the integration here so okay so um, so I think what we wanted to do is the next thing is we want to add in this leaderboards button uh, now I've got the documentation up here and it says I have to create a uh, add a new leaderboard and again, I'm just going to pause the video there for one second, guys, whilst I read through this so you're not just watching me read things. And I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so the first thing is I've just checked. It looks like we need to set up a, a leaderboard first uh, so that we know, uh, so we can actually connect the game to a leaderboard that we've set up in our dashboard. So I'm going to go to the developer dashboard over here. Uh, I'm going to click on leaderboards. And we should be able to name it. So configure Hazel leaderboards, create and integrate leaderboards in your game, foster and support engagement through competition. Okay, so I'm going to click add leaderboard. And all right, and I'm going to I'm going to just write top scores for the leaderboard name. Uh, we don't want the lowest one first. We want the highest score to appear first. Uh, that's pretty like that's pretty standard, I'd say. And click on add. All right, and there we go. So it's actually appeared, and the idea of this is this 3U3 here. Uh, and I think that's pretty much it according to what the documentation has just said. We can add new leaderboards for the game, so it could be things like, you know, most coins collected, the most bees collected in the game, uh, the longest time in the game, whatever whatever your game supports and whatever you want to integrate. Uh, but for us, since we're most of the X-Series games are pretty much a score-based game, I'm going to keep it at scores for now, and we might integrate some of those later. So uh, ID three U three. So what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna go back into Unity, and I want the scores to be submitted every time that this game actually uh, actually loads. And the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna double check what I had before. All right. So here's that button, and. I'm just finding a good place to put this into the game. I might just put this under general scripts since it's pretty simple. I'm going to double click on my main menu scene. Uh, usually what I tend to do is that when I have a, um, a project, general scripts, uh, the game object here contains a script which has the name of the scene and then the name of the game. And that's sort of like the main scripts for that scene. And in this case, it activates things like uh, if you click on play, it will load the next level. Uh, it'll also show you the top score. It'll get that data, the the the, uh, the persistent data, the high score, and then just show that on screen as well. And so in this case, I'm going to also have that haze up functionality in here. Uh, and as you can see here, I already had the original haze up uh, check-in uh, button. So uh, just whilst we're on the subject as well, guys, if you want to include the haze up check-in, which is when I first started the video, I showed you that check-in, and then it popped up and said, "Hey, check out my score." That check-in button is is um, uh, just a way for the player to say, "Hey, I played this game," and you can do that by actually checking the button yourself, or you can have that just pop up automatically. 
it might be a cool thing to have it pop up automatically. We'll see. Um, but I think, you know, uh, I think having the user actually tap it and engage in it might be a better way. But the code to access that is haze app uh, lib then check in, and then the string message. That's all it can be, uh, or it can just be haze app check in like this, and you don't have to have the string message after that. But I just wrote, hey, check out my score. And then what I do is I grab the high score from the game and then it shows that in. So the, the message is a little bit, has a little bit more to it, you know, a little bit more information. Um, so what I am going to do now is when the game loads, when the scene loads, sorry, we want to actually submit this high score. So I think from the documentation that I've just seen, if I go down a little bit, this is the code that we need. Now I'm going to have to read through this a little bit because I don't know exactly what's going on here. Uh, and what I might do is I might just open up a CS script so that I can see all of the definition haze up lib. All right, I'm going to double click on this. Don't know if I'm going to get all of this information here. Uh, okay. Am I going to start here? Sorry guys, I'm just trying to find a good way to... Uh... Okay. So let's go. Uh, okay, so... Boy, um, I'm just reading this here to understand it a little bit better. So submit score. String is the score. Okay, it's a little bit strange. Display score. String level ID. Mm, okay, so that's the ID that we got from the Hazard portal. The string score and then display score. Okay. Okay, okay. All right, so let me just Command and Z just to get out of this second. And that's oh, right, I'll just go back this way. And there's nothing to save in there. Uh, close without saving, that's fine. I'm just going to paste this in here. And, okay. So let me, uh, since we're sort of going back and forth between the documentation guys, I'm going to pause it once again just so you're not watching me read. I'll understand this and then come back and I can give you a little bit more of a fluent uh, um, you know, video for this. So I'll be back in just a second. Okay guys, so I just checked the documentation and I think I understand it a little bit more now. Um, it looks like what we've got here at the top is, once, the, once this menu scene loads, I want to submit the score to, uh, to Hazap. And I need to check whether this is right or wrong. I've not, uh, I've not actually play tested this yet. Um, but you have to include uh, this, which is the actual game object, I think, that gets passed, and that's going to be the same for every game. The score that you want to submit, and I'm just putting in a dummy value right now, just 20. Uh, the, uh, the, cur the currency or, or points, for example, like 20 points, you 20 coins, uh, uh, 50 seconds, whatever it may be. And in this case, we're just going to call it points. And then the actual ID of the leaderboard here, which is 3U3 in our case. And the other thing that I'm just about to do now is I'm, I'm going back into Unity, is I want to have a leaderboards button as well. So one function is when the menu starts, it submits the, the score to Haze app. And then we want to give the, uh, the player the ability to actually see the leaderboards when, when, the, um, when they tap on the leaderboard button. So what I've done here is I've just copied this Haze app button and uh, I'll actually I'll just go back so that you guys can see what I was doing there and okay so this is the main button that you saw when the video first started the current version that is on Google Play I'm just gonna tap on it click command and B command and V and I'm gonna click enter and I'm gonna call this uh, haze up leaderboard button so that it's different to the haze up button the haze up button is the check-in to say hey I have played this game you know, and then it shares it throughout the social network. And the leaderboard button is to see the leaderboards. So I'm just going to click on the, the check-in button, just move it over here, because I actually want the leaderboards to be more central and, and, you know, a main sort of thing. All right, and then I'm just going to go back into my script. And what I'm going to do is copy this tap menu button here. This is if the user taps the Haze app check-in button. I'm going to paste that. I'm going to go back into Unity, get the name of the button, copy that by clicking Command and, v, uh, Command and C, double tap here, Command and V, 
So now if the player hits the haze up leaderboard button, we're going to do something else. Uh, I'm just going to cut this and I'm going to delete this here. Delete command and V to paste. And it says that this will actually show the leaderboards. So if I click command and S to save it, go back into Unity, we should be okay, I think. Maybe yes, maybe no. No, we've still got an issue. Okay, so haze up submit score. The best overload method for haze up lib submit score is a string string string. Okay. And I've actually got in string string. So okay, so it looks like um for some reason they accept a string as the score, which is fine. Um uh, I might have to delete this, so I'm just going to make this a string, click Command and S, go back into Unity, see if this compiles or not. I don't know if it's going to work or not, because it seems like, um, yeah, because I've got this thing, this, this, yeah, that's a little bit strange, I was wondering why that was in there. Uh, let's give this a try, okay, so string, 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 Command and S to save, back into Unity.